Fucking get him, my son. Fucking get him. Jesus Christ. Right. I could talk my scarf on. Try to talk it on or just. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what? This is the worst one. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop it now. So, reason I'm fucking static is because we won the fucking FA Cup. Jesus Christ, fucking get in. Right. So, um, we'll skip off. We'll skip the first half because it was a nil nil draw. Nothing much to say about it other than we've been attacking and Spurs been absolutely defensive as fuck. But then coming towards the end of the second half, even though we've been attacking, we left too much space out on the left. Jason Punchin lashes it into the into the side of the net, inside, and onto the side of the net. It's one nil to Palace. I'm just thinking. Jesus Christ. Is this going to happen once again? Is this going to happen once again? It's going to be one of those days. But then... I've, I've kind of forgotten it now because I, I was so, so embroiled in the moment of the last goal. But still, I'll try and replicate it if I can. The ball was coming in from the right. Valencia, I believe, tried to uh, lob it to Fellaini. Actually gets to Matter instead. Matter. Goes for a shot, it deflects in, it's in, 1-1. One, one. I'm thinking, can we get another goal in? Can we get another goal in? Because Palace were all over the show. Kattenberg was being the twat as he always is. And, well, we got too many people on the yellow card. One of them because he got sent off. I'll get to that in a sec. So we thought, 1-1, one, one, full time, extra time, here we go. Going into extra time... We didn't know if we are going to be atta going to be much more attacking. We have no idea. But coming towards the end of the first half of extra time, Mike, uh, sorry, Chris Morning gets sent off for for, for another for, for a uh, second bookable offence. I'm just like, oh my god, is this really going to happen? Then I thought, Jesus Christ, why am I saying it like this? Get this off of me. Show me where there's a championship. I, I, I'm getting too off topic. I'm getting too off topic. So. We just thought, Palace are going to come away and win it. We're not going to give West Ham the chance to play at the Olympic Stadium in European football, European League at least, for next season. But but then, from out of nowhere, Matza, I believe, was on the right wing. He tried to cross the ball in, I believe, for Rooney. Didn't really work out for him. Leg guard. It comes to leg guard. Lashes it into the net. Oh, you God. You utter God. And mind you, this was around 10 minutes to go as well. 10 minutes to go. We were down to 10 men. They've got the extra man advantage. We could have lost that game straight up. But we kept on it. And for the first time since 2004, we won the FA Cup. And the first time in the post Sir Alex Ferguson era, we've won a piece of silverware. Under uh, the most. Idiotic, idiotic manager I've ever known in my entire life, Louis van Gaal. But, but, looks like his horny football just paid off. And, many, I, I think loads of members on the uh, Manchester United team have never ever won, and I mean never ever won the FA Cup. Matter being the exception since he won it with Chelsea. But, but Jesus Christ. Oh my God. We've we've won the FA Cup. That all needs to be said. The Belgian Afro guesses guesses FA Cup winners medal. Rudy guesses winners medal. In fact, everyone guesses winners medal. Jesus Christ! Unfortunately, I don't know for Mike because he's got sent off. But hopefully, he gets he gets out of it. But I'm I'm still disappointed in um, Mike for Chris for Chris just doing like that. But still, I need a breather. We won the FA Cup. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. MBFC. Okay. Ta.